everyone, this is Cindy from the Where Pigs Fly Farm, and this here is my buddy Leroy. <laughs> Leroy's playing hard to get today. Anyway, what we're going to be talking about today is all the fun information about camels. He's too busy uh, watching these new guys circling him. Uh, anyway, you're going to learn all about camels. You're going to see some pictures of our uh, visitors that have visited uh, Leroy in the past and uh, learn a lot of great things. Leroy is no longer on exhibit at the farm. However, you will be able to meet him. Yeah, him and some of the donkeys and the goats and the other farm animals all at the Bethlehem Walk in Jefferson City. So uh, stay tuned. So here we go, a quick rundown of the facts. There are two types of camels, one with one hump, the dromedary, and the other has two humps, the Bactrian. We, of course, have Leroy. He's the one humper. Though most people think of the camel as a desert animal, it actually originated in North America about 45 million years ago and adjusts quite well to the extreme heat and the extreme cold. The male camel is known as a bull, the female a cow, and the baby a calf. The camel actually lives a pretty long time. 40 to 50 years is the average lifespan. So the average weight of the camel is 880 pounds to 1,325 pounds, although they can get over 1,500 pounds, and they stand about seven foot high at their hump. Now the dromedary camel has a gestation of 15 months. Could you imagine being pregnant for 15 months? Poor girl. Thankfully, after all that, they do only give birth to one baby. Now the babies, unlike the adults, they do not have humps. Contrary to what you've been told, that hump is not full of water. It is actually full of fat. This fat is put to use whenever the camels have to go without food or water, which they can do for up to two weeks. And speaking of water, they can consume a pretty hefty amount, up to 40 gallons at one time. Now this ability to go without water and the ability to fight off sand makes them the perfect desert animal. They have a third eyelid, which really helps out. They also have two rows of lashes and they can actually close their nostril down, which will prevent sand from entering their body. Though Leroy never seems to be in a hurry to get anywhere, he can run up to 40 miles per hour. Not only are they fast, but they can carry 375 to 600 pounds. This is how they earned the nickname, Ships of the Desert. Not only are they fast and able to carry a lot of stuff, but they're also a source of meat, milk, leather, and fiber. They're a very versatile animal. Kind of a cross between a horse, a cow, and a llama, all wrapped into one. Now the pictures you see here with him drinking out of a bottle was when he first arrived. He was just nine months old, January 2019, and we love to spoil him. However, llamas are vegetarians and they will eat pretty much anything vegetarian. However, they really love crackers. So a lot of people ask, why do you have a camel? Well, that's easy, for the journey to Bethlehem. Each year, the Capital City Christian Church holds the uh, live journey to Bethlehem. In the past, they've used our donkeys, llama, alpaca, sheep, goats, and then they've had to rent a camel. Now with Leroy, they will no longer have to rent a camel. He will be their number one star. He is amazing. So if you ever want to meet the greatest camel ever, you will definitely have to make sure to put the journey to Bethlehem on your calendar. This year, the event takes place from December 12th to December 14th. You'll have to check out their website for the details. You will enjoy it, I promise. So I thought it would be a great way to give back to the community by taking care of Leroy and making him the most awesome camel ever for the Bethlehem walk. However, God once again proved that you cannot outgive him. Louis Prost, one of the youth leaders from the church, showed up here with 17 bales of hay. If you're a farmer with livestock, you know how important that is. We are blessed. Okay, well that pretty much wraps it up for us. Uh, hopefully you learned a little bit about camels and hopefully that'll make you want to go visit Leroy at the uh, Live Bethlehem Walks this uh, winter. 
they are really incredible animals. Uh, now, if you want to learn more about additional animals, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell, and uh, we will be posting new videos all the time. Oh, there we are. Yes, you've got to make another appearance. Um, also, if there is a particular animal that you'd like to hear about, please put it in the comments section below. Or if there's any additional questions you have about camels, you may also place that in the comments section below. Uh, we will be looking forward to uh, seeing you again at our next video. Say goodbye. You say goodbye. Yeah. Are you going to get